Hey guys, it's Montgomery Rails coming to you from Montgomery, Alabama. Well, I saw an inspirational video from DJ from DJ's Trains, and I want to share my experience with trains. Um, as you all know, I model the Birmingham Southern, which is a short line in Fairfield, Alabama. Unfortunately, this railroad is no longer in operation as the Birmingham Southern. Waco took over the railroad back in February. So, as you know, Waco, they tend to mess a lot of things up. They took the name and changed it to the Birmingham Terminal Railroad, and any railroad operations inside the plant are now the Fairfield Southern Railroad. Don't get me wrong, the Fairfield Southern, awesome paint job. Yellow and red, I love it. But these are some photos that I've taken over the years from the Birmingham Southern operations on the outside of the plant and the main lines in Inslee, Alabama. A lot of the locomotives they had were all EMD. SD9s, SD18s, Jeep 38-2s, SW1000 and 1001s, SW1500s, MP15s, and the SW1500 turbo charges. Another cool thing about this railroad is they have operational originis, which is pretty rare nowadays. They're mainly implant use. You don't really see them out on the main lines anymore, but they used to do operations to Port Birmingham, Birminghamport which um, I have been once, but didn't get any pictures due to no railroad operations at the time. You can still go out to the Fairfield Southern and see a lot of Birmingham Southern equipment, uh, whether it be a couple of SW1000s or uh, an SW1001 or two. I, I think all the uh, SW1500s are already painted. But this is some of these are some of my photos I've personally taken. All these photos you see before you are mine. Unfortunately, I don't have any photo editing software, so I just prop my camera up and let the slideshow take its course. Hope you enjoy, everyone. The reason why I'm modeling this railroad is because it is a short line. Short lines, a little odd. They have a lot of mixed power, sometimes not the same paint scheme. I can't say all of the GP38s came from the EJ and E. At one time in the 90s, they were painted all orange. Not anymore. They're either green and yellow, or they're, they've got the Waco paint scheme now. This MP15 came from the St. Mary's Railroad. It's now Birmingham Southern 373. This is an XEJ&D &E Birmingham Southern SW1500. Here we see them crossing off the exit 119 going back into Fairfield. The rule of thumb with this railroad is get all the photos you can. Unfortunately, I did have a run in with US Steel Police. They have a strict no photography policy inside the plant, but me and a friend were on a public road and they came and told me to delete my videos or they're taking my camera. This infuriated me. I later contacted US Steel Police and spoke with the supervisor. According to the Constitutional Amendment, if any photographer is on a public road, no matter what the circumstances are, as long as it does not belong to the government, you have the right to take a photo of whatever you want. I explained this to U.S. Steel PD, and they promised me not to bother me anymore. Unfortunately, about four days of rail fanning in the Birmingham Southern were lost. Rare equipment, scale test cars, ore jennies, rare locomotives are all gone, and I can't salvage them because they've either been repainted or scrapped. I hope you all enjoyed this little video. Remember, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Montgomery Rails. Any questions or comments are welcomed. Also, I have a, a Railroad Picture Archives profile. Look me up, Radisson McGuire. Remember to like my Facebook page also, McGuire Custom Trains. 
Thank you, everyone. Have a nice day.